Just do dragon, bro. Great, get the kill. And then you need to start pinging, pinging, pinging. Hey, come dragon, come dragon, come dragon. Just kill this guy. Stun him, auto Q. But you just took a lot of damage and wasted your flash. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on what gold junglers need to improve on. Um, if you're at any elo, this will probably help. We're gonna be looking at the early game, what he should be doing at level one. We're going to look at jungle pathing, ganking, uh, objective timers, the mid game rotations, and then how he should play in the late game and where he should be regarding uh, different objectives. So if you do enjoy the video, please hit the like button. It really is the most important metric on YouTube. So if you enjoy the video, if you learn anything, please don't hesitate to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. So let's get into this review. Hey guys, before we get into this review, if you want to get better at League of Legends and have more in-depth guides that show you exactly how to climb and rank, then check out my course, the Tickets to Diamond Blueprint. If you want to get in before the end of the season to get that rank that you deserve, then go check it out with the link in the description below. All right, so right off the bat, uh, they played for a ward up here early on. Um, let's see. It's one minute and six seconds into the game. He shouldn't really be the one warding that. Unless it was Graves that actually warded it. It wasn't them. It was a very lackadaisical invade. Um, if they had their team there, it's dangerous. So don't just randomly invade without your team. Uh, one thing that you can do that I would actually recommend that I've been doing in all my games when I'm playing jungle is I, on blue side, I come to this bush and I don't get trinket right away. Now you don't have to do this. It's, it's you know, it's more beneficial at higher elo than at low elo. And I'll get sweeper over um, trinket because a lot of players, what they like to do is they'll ward here or here or even their red buff and they'll recall at 50 seconds to switch to their sweeper. But what you can do is you can walk in with your sweeper and I usually try to grab my top laner to come with me and I'll sweep like the ward, let's say it's right here, and I'll have them attack it. And what it does is allows them to get an extra minion's worth of XP so that in the top lane, Teemo doesn't need to wait till the second uh, wave to, to get level two. He can kill the sixth minion and then do an all in. And it's uh, a really great way to help your top laner um, early. It doesn't really help you as a jungler. You're not going to get level three or level two any faster, um, but it's just an okay start. Another thing you can do is just the classic uh, ward your second buff or ward the pixel brush at 50 seconds and then recall. Uh, you can place it during your recall and then grabbing a sweeper. Uh, it's just kind of the meta thing to do right now. I would stay away from uh, just generic invades to this part of the map. If you do want to invade, I would grab Leona. I would make sure at least four of your teammates are with you. And I would invade through the top side. Most players are lackadaisical in their positioning. And you can either go um, up this way. Or I've even found that if you get there fast enough right off spawn, you can even make it here. And then, you know, somebody else will walk up or you can sneak into the bush or something. Um, and just invading topside, they're not there. No one ever stacks it. And so the the chances of getting vision are great. You can, you know, consider stealing red buff um, and whatnot. So uh, that's just, you know, options for what you can do level one. And especially if you're trying to get out of gold, uh, doing a, some sort of level one or having some sort of planned. Why is nobody attacking this red buff? OK, well, we got to, you know, do our buffs. Especially when your bot lane is just leashing for that long. And I guess Warwick isn't even there either. So this game, you have no excuse not to out, out jungle this guy early. And also you're going Krugs. Um, and you smite it. I guess it can work. So it looks like he's going to full clear. What I was going to say is uh, you do want to do um, have some sort of level one set so that you can... Uh, put your team in a position to win um, because, you know, just getting a kill or two or getting a flash. Okay, you're, you're pe uh, number one thing, man, uh, a blazed albatross, you have to go into um, practice tool and just clear and practice kiting the camps and optimizing your, your pathing because you're probably like five seconds behind where you could be right now. Even if doing Krugs is not the best idea, but you could already be starting uh, Raptors depending on um, if you just, you know, weren't st standing still for a second. So, he's not kiting at all. This is actually good. Yep, prioritizing the small ones. Getting the lifesteal. Level 2 king from the Warwick. And tell me nobody dies. Holy moly. Okay. Okay, great move. Yes, yes. You saw, and if you press tab, uh, you would see that Warwick has 9 minions, which means that he only has 2 camps done. Gromp and blue. Uh, so you're going to steal his top side, and he should recall here instead of running all the way over. He's going to run. Okay. 
uh, good start. All things considered. You pr honestly probably have time to do a second camp here. Okay, you just steal red. We'll slow it down now. Top is just going to get his own kill. Nice. Okay. Go do scuttle. That's unfortunate. He just had to do a level two. <laughs> level two Warwick. Okay, he decides to take Krugs. I wish he would have done this sooner. Uh, but running to topside is, is not that bad. I can understand that. Kiting them back. Nice. But he needs to he needs to go do this. He needs to go do the scuttle crab. It's gonna offer way more XP and gold and map pressure than Yeah, I could better contest this. What is going on? Teemo needs to rotate down. Okay, if you're if you're in this situation, you have to spam ping the Teemo and the Graves to come help you with this. This is a free kill on this Warwick. And uh a, yeah, yeah. And potentially get it. Nice. Secure, you should keep going. Kiana's in base. Okay, you guys don't have a lot of CC. That's fine. Everything uh, so far is good. Uh, you can just finish clearing your top side and then recall. And then head bot. Uh, we'll, we'll go through this pretty quickly. A nice two wolves. And I'm going to see you recall. Should have a lot of gold. Uh... I guess, I guess if he's really trying to optimize, he can do this, but he's just, if he needed to help, like right here, he's just not going to have the strength to do it, because he didn't recall. So that's just the only thing that's hard about this. Why aren't you just fighting the Warwick? Okay. Uh, in this situation, like... Sorry, I feel like I'm being whiny in this review. I apologize. Uh, I'm just kind of amazed that you know people really want to get to gold and this is what gold is okay in this situation the easiest target to kill the one that's strongest is kiana right so kiana's number one priority also the one taking tower damage right so she's who you go for she's out okay so now you turn she's out she has ultimate so you need to stay away from this and just kind of path back here and kill the warwick they're gonna still want to try to kill you it's gold um so you just cut away you don't try to chase through Okay, like th this guy's at 400 HP and a level below you. You're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700, 650 against 400. You only just auto queue this guy to death. Use your stun to, f to, to follow up. But you're trying to be sneaky and kill the, the Kiana for some reason. Like, just, just kill this guy. Stun him, auto queue, but you just took a lot of damage and wasted your flash. And that's also the reason you want to recall after doing your full, your, your full clear, because you would have had, like, long swords or, you know, whatever you're building. I think you're going probably Divine Sunder, if I had to guess. You're just going to, you're going to be stronger in that situation. And homie, you got to, you got to recall or do something. You're, are you trying to sneak a kill right now? You're going to die. You got to, you got to just leave and, and recall. I think this is something that a lot of players don't realize that they do, um, but a lot of low elo players do, is they don't understand um, their positioning and timing. Like, he, he spent like three seconds just standing here when he should have been channeling his recall to go back and then go to Krugs, uh, Chickens, and then Topside, or look for Dragon or something bot lane. But what he did is he just sat mid, his, his, uh, his mid laner had already recalled. Like, he was only going to miss like two or three minions. He did not need to soak it, especially at this level. Uh, Kiana's level six. All it takes is one Q from her for you to die, and Warwick is healthy. Like, you just need to get out of there. Just recall and then go full clear. Um, and then hanging around randomly, risking your life, and then wandering into your own jungler when you know your own jungle when you know Warwick is there. You're just asking to die here. And that. Okay. Let him go, you're not gonna kill him. You have no CC. You have no CC. No way they actually get a kill here. Oh, that is a gift. Uh, do dragon. Spam ping dragon. Spam ping dragon. Okay. One thing to realize about, uh, a lot of players would like to know when they can chase here. They just want to chase, right? They want to get those kills, and I totally understand that. Uh, but look at your team. You have Teemo, Graves, Callista. 
they don't really have any CC, they just auto. So what you need to look for is ways to kite back, okay? Unless Leona is the one doing the engaging. If you're with Leona, she can apply CC, you just have to wait for her cooldowns as you chase, and then you can kill. But in this situation, like, your graves in, in Viego, you're not gonna get anything. But the jungler is also one HP under the tower, and you can just go take dragon for free. And let's not even consider that mid lane is losing a lot of golden XP mid, because Kiana is actually just shoving it, which is really good. So he's not even starting it still. He's prioritizing... Just do Dragon, bro. I mean, it's good that you're trying to steal, but like you could have had Dragon done by now and then starting all your camps to go help topside again. And then you can worry about Rift Herald. But now, like everybody's going to be on the map. And sure, you have, you have blue buff. But you don't, you're not, you're a manaless champion. Please don't start it now. No. Callista's backing, bro. All three are up. I, they're, they're gonna get wiped here. Graves is dead. Kiana's gonna move over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's back up a little bit. So this was great, actually. I mean... How you got here wasn't great, but what happened was pretty good. Like, you got to this point, you had Callista healthy, you had Leona with you, somewhere, Leona, and then you had Graves, and the lane is relatively frozen, it's gonna start moving back, but it's relatively frozen at his tower. You push him away, once he hits this, this blast cone, there's no way you're killing him. Wait, Graves has ulti. Wait. Graves has ultimate. Unless it's a bug. You just... Huh. You should ult him. He's... Wow, he smited just in time. Uh, Graves needs to ult him way earlier. Uh, I'm assuming it does like 250 damage. Would be my guess. Let's see. He gets an auto E auto, I believe. E auto, ult. E. Yeah, ult e right there. I'm pretty sure he dies. I mean, even if he doesn't, okay? The moment he hits that blast cone... You, you look for dragon, right? Because you, you you can't go any farther here. You, all you know is that Kiana is moving through the jungle, level six. You probably don't understand if she has ultimate or not. That's fine. But she's coming down. You're level five with half HP. You either need to commit to dragon with your four teammates. Okay, so you're, you're moving to dragon. And then these two hooligans come to stop you. So you 4v2 into this. You get the kill. Okay, so we'll play that out quick. Great, get the kill. And then you need to start pinging, pinging, pinging. Hey, come dragon, come dragon, come dragon. And hopefully, like, your team, like, knows, hey, we can maybe do dragon. But there's no, like, assured call. So they just go back to doing what they were doing. If you're spamming this, everybody moves there. Okay, and then it's a 4v3 if they try to contest it. You have Leona to set up the CC. And let's look at items. Uh, you're losing in the item department, but... You should have the numbers and the coordination to hopefully look for something. You look for another engage on Warwick. He doesn't die. Okay, that happens. Spam ping dragon. You had three opportunities to do this objective. I didn't mean to do that. You have three opportunities to do this objective. And you chose the fourth opportunity, which was the only one that you shouldn't have done. Fourth opportunity was to continue to chase around. Right, even here. You could spam ping dragon. You can still do it with the Graves damage and the Leona to tank it. Right? And so you're starting it. She, like, Leona even knows that this is the right call. She starts it. And then you just leave. You don't even get level 6 off this, right? Yeah, he doesn't even get level 6. Right? And so you go to do this. If you can get... With a team composition like this, Viego, who's not that great pre-6, if you can sneak a dragon and it's not even a sneak if you can just take dragon a dragon bef like in front of a warwick who's a, a much better early game jungler than you are by all means take it and yes counter jungling is good but only if dragon's not up in the situation this is so free and your team scales so incredibly well viego Timo, Callista, or graves Callista. like your team will scale so you're basically buying five minutes 
instead of 30 seconds from this blue buff. I don't know if that made sense, but you're, you're basically prolonging how long the other team needs to get to soul point. And now you start it. Once Warwick had enough time to recall, once Zillion and, and, and Jin are back, did he buy anything? Okay, he still has pickaxe. Once Kiana is back in the mid lane with an XP advantage and actually solos your jungle, or your mid laner. This all could have been avoided if we did Dragon 30 seconds faster. Sooner. So, just something to think about. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going after this. Um, just hope to open your eyes to um, to this. Okay, let's look at the pathing as you come out. Uh, I don't know if you know if Warwick is here, but pathing top, I guess, is fine. Um, I guess if you know that he's on your red buff, you can just go trade his. You run to Gromp, which is weird pathing. Where do you go after this? Okay, you, you go up. Um, you're not going to kill the Akali here. Most likely this is boarded and she'll just leave because you don't have any CC in the top lane. So even if you wanted to look at this, when you come out of here, you want to do Wolves into Grump, right? Unless you're like a Lease or Lease in and you really just have high mobility to just get stuff done. But as Viego, you need that farm, right? You just you just need to get big. He, like, he kills him without you. And you're one camp down. Should probably... you. Again, I don't know if he knew that Warwick invaded his red. If he did, he should check red buff here and then get out. Um, but doing... Starting Herald is interesting here. But... Akali TP's in. You should leave Herald to go help Timo here. Oh, it's so low. Okay, you finish it. I guess it's fine. He dies anyways. Okay, that's the right call. My my gut reaction, my default is whenever I see a teammate fighting is to leave a camp or an objective, uh, including Rift Herald because it takes like 20 seconds to take. Um, but he would have died anyway. Nothing you could have done about it. You got Rift Herald. Nice. So your objective control is so close to being great. You know where to be and how to play, but you just need your timing and your pacing to be a little bit faster. And when you see a gap, you take it. Um, let's look at top lane. It's just gonna go even. 15. It's a candy minion wave. You don't really you don't need to go top here. I mean you can clear the, the pink ward. But you go blue, you just you full clear after this. Full clear and then look to counter junglers. Or sorry, uh, counter gank. Wait a minute. What is this ward doing? Yep, yep, yep. Very good. Yep, this is an easy kill. Unless he's gonna ult somebody. Stand in front of him. Okay, go Kiana, go Kiana. Wow, nice. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Okay. I'm going to guess what you're going to do, and I'm going to tell you what you should do. You're going to run back to your camps, okay? But what do you have in your inventory? What's the major thing you have that you just worked so hard to get? You have Rift Herald. Where is it? It's right here. You have Rift Herald. I have the Herald. What you want to do is you want to go help Graves shove this wave. I don't care if he's gold and he doesn't understand what you're doing. Help him shove this wave and start attacking for plates. Once you get down to... Let me move up. Once you get down to three plates, you'll proc Rift Herald and you'll keep going. And then you can either leave it with like this much HP left, this much HP left, or you can uh, just kill the turret and try to get a second charge onto uh, the second turret, or you can just leave it low. You can probably just take it for the plates at this point. You're probably not gonna have a better chance to do it. Um, but that's so much gold. You and Graves each get 200. You get map pressure. He gets back into the game. He has a roam timer for top lane or bot lane. You get more vision control. You'll have control over next dragon. It's huge. So turning this objective, this Rift Herald objective, into like even more ground for your team is important. So I'm going to see what you do here. And you run away. Okay. And I get it. Like your buffs are up and they're enticing. But even if, if you're going to do anything... Besides dropping Rift Herald mid, you should go top lane. She doesn't have ultimate. She doesn't have flash. The other times that you've looked at it, she's been too far away. Right? You could have been like literally right here by now. She procs her shroud here. You save her W when she goes in the bush. And then you can probably look for something. Farming here. Like I know I, know I just said that you, it's, you need to prioritize it. But... In this situation, there are so many other things you could do to help you. Like, look how fast Graves is doing this. If you were autoing this, you would get to three plates. You'd proc Herald by the time this last minion dies. And you can just get so much gold from it. So if you if you actually get Herald, look to use it. Don't just...
don't just pop it when it's at five plates. You're only going to get, you know, two. It's not worth it. But if you can get two beforehand, then proc it, it'll do more damage to the tower, getting you more gold, getting the tower lower, and getting a lot more pressure, and it just, it's more, a more effective use of that Rift Herald. So you go into full clear, why aren't you full clearing? Okay, so you just found out that your red is gone, so he didn't know from earlier. Okay, he's spam pinging, this is good. Uh, I think that's a fine gank. Uh, you were pinging for the Leona to drop CC, and she was just a little bit late on it. Okay, there's not much you can do about that. I like that. Um, I wish you would have done some camps potentially before that. Well, let's go back and look at the wave management bot lane first. So when you're... Okay, I actually like this timing. So the wave was crashed. And they were just getting back to lane with items. And they were pushed up. That's good timing. Okay. Uh, let's jump ahead. So just know, like, there's a lot of little things that could be different about this game based on, like, one or two plays. Earlier Dragon, dropping the Rift Herald mid. It's nothing crazy. Just a little bit of more efficient pathing, right? A little bit more efficient uh, <laughs> killing the jungle camps. And then using your objectives. Or being more... Um, a little bit smarter with the objectives. Nice, you get a great kill here. You keep chasing, you get all three of them. Nice. Okay. Here, let's look at the map. We have Dragon up in... Where is Dragon? 48 seconds. You don't know that he's topside. Uh, there's a couple plates there. Okay, you have two options. One is you steal, you steal these two plant, or camps. Uh, maybe drop... What do you have? You have Herald still. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You, yeah, you let Grave steal the camp. You go auto this down to three plates, and then you use Herald here. And you ping your Graves off of the Gromp. Homie, when are you gonna use this Herald? I don't mean to, I don't mean to be toxic, I'm sorry. I hope you're trying, I hope you, I just want you to understand what the goal of what we're doing here is. The goal of Herald is to get gold, or the, the first Herald is to get gold from the tower plates and get an early advantage, right? If you take this tower, you send your top lane or your bot lane to top, right? They get to lane at, let's say 1320. Callista has the ability to get two more plates. That's 180, 160 more gold, right? If you do it a little bit earlier, it can happen even faster. Right? So especially getting bot lane out of lane can continue to apply pressure for the second and third dragon and getting that early first tower. And you can't ward when you have Herald, or you can't even clear wards. And so I guess you finally proc it at three, but you're procking it because you have to, not because you thought about it. So it ends up working in your favor. You guys will get plays, but this could have happened a minute earlier. Uh, I also would have preferred it to happen bot lane a little bit faster because there's no guarantee that it's available mid lane. Uh, you graves ints after you being gifted 500 gold. Oh my gosh, that was a juicy shutdown. <laughs> right, and I guess you, there could be an argument here that you also baited your graves to stay even longer than you needed to by waiting so long to proc it, to drop it, uh, drop herald. So, might not be the bat, the worst call. He should know to get out right after, but it is a potential. Bait. Oh no, you missed your ulti. Just auto-queue, auto-queue, auto-queue. Get in there. Okay. Not the worst, right? But now you lose dragon. Like these these, these minor, like you get tr like three kills right here. You ping your graves off the camp, which you should just let him take it. Let him take the camp. Drop Herald right here. Okay, let your bot lane deal with the tower. They can do it just fine. And then as your Graves is taking, like be nice to your laners. <laughs> as your Graves is taking this, run to wolves, take that. And then by the time you're back, dragon spawns in 10 seconds. You already have vision control. You can set up like, you know, a trap bush or something and you just take it. Let me actually see the time of when dragon spawned. 15 seconds and you proc it mid lane. So you're finishing wolves here. Wait a minute. No, you have just come back from Wolf. So you saw 15 seconds. This would have been down and pushed probably to the, like around here, I would guess. 
mid lane's lane is still pushed. I th and then you either take blue after wolves, and then you take dragon, I think. Or you reset with your team, and then as four, go back to dragon. I'm just trying to think through the other possibilities of what could have happened. Basically, dropping Rift Herald immediately after would have been the benefit here, or would have been the move here. Because with your team pushing it, and it already being low on tower plates, you, you get a second charge on this tower. These two are stuck dealing with that. And then you take blue and dragon. Or you reset while they're dealing with it, and then you go to dragon with all your gold. Fight is four. I think I think that's the move. I'm assuming they end up getting it. Yeah, they get it. And so you put yourself in a tough spot at 14 minutes where it looks like you're winning the game, but you are honestly just lucky that you haven't hard lost this yet because you just keep throwing every time you're given something. All right. Uh, even if you're at this point in the game, there are no neutral objectives up. There's kind maybe one or two towers down. There's nothing that you can really do except maybe save your team or hop into a fight. You just need to full clear. So now's the point where I'm mad that you're actually not going Krugs. So when you come from base, path... Here, let's move down here. When you come from base, just path here. Do Krugs, then go Red, and then go Chickens, and then go Wolves, and then do Gromp. Look to do something top lane maybe, maybe sneak into the top rush or get vision on, you know, the second Rift Herald. Maybe a Scuttle Crab is up. Like just when nothing really is happening on the map, look to uh, full clear. And what's... And also, homie, like you saw them fighting like in position way earlier. You just need to go help them here. This is not a situation where you farm and you let your team die. Your team is so lucky, man. I don't understand how your team is this lucky. You guys could be hard winning this game right now. Hard winning it. You're going for the zillion. Okay. You could ult onto this Jin. I think you just need to be at this fight a little bit sooner. I'm not totally sure. I don't like this fight at all anyways. But just get out. It's 2v3. Okay. You get out, and you either protect mid, or you go clear camps. Why are you just randomly fighting 1v3? Dude, the fact that you are still alive right now is blowing my mind. Oh, wow. From downtown Warwick. So, pinging... What I would have done there, if I'm playing in this game, is I'm, you know, spam pinging my team to get out. You know, I'm typing 4 there, or you know, 4v5 or 3v5 or whatever, just to get them to get out. And I either run straight to them if I think that they... When they got the pick here, I think I run straight to them to give them numbers. Um, otherwise, if they are kiting away and leaving, I'm starting my camps. If, if they're safe. I'm going... I'm just full clearing. Boom, boom, boom. And then if Warwick's still in the bot side, boom, boom, boom. And then second Rift Herald spawns, kill that. Then look to take top or mid tower, or save it for the third dragon and throw it mid or top. That's a very, very sloppy. But you just gotta, you, you wanna be efficient. Even when you're in a game like this and you're down two dragons, there's still so many ways you can get back in this. You just gotta be, you just gotta be, you know, a little bit resourceful. It's literally, this is turning into a fiesta that your team is somehow not hard throwing in. Do wolves first, do wolves first, do wolves first. Okay. When you're gonna do a side of your jungle, right? Your blue side jungle, you wanna be efficient, right? Is it faster to go blue wolves gromp or is it faster to go wolves blue gromp? Okay, that was confusing, right? It's faster to do this. So you just, you know, hop over, you queue these, you pull the, the wolves up this way as you're killing them. You hit the blue with your queue right here. You start to kite it here and then back and then you hit this. So you're just trying to do everything as fast as possible. Your Viego, your, your clear is great. So much sustain. But just, just just be smarter. You're getting an extra camp for the same amount of time. You're not kiting this this uh, camp at all. And you, you skip out on blue just to go do Rift Herald. And you have no idea if this is warded or not. And you don't see anybody on the map. So 
And when they see this, bro, like when they see your, your shroud, they know you're doing something. And you are alone with nobody even close to you. You should not be doing this right now. And you still have your trinket up, so you, did, you couldn't sweep. I would like it better if you just at least put a trinket here. But still very risky. I would full clear, check for pinks in these two brushes, maybe invade topside and check for more pinks. I, recall and do the whole thing again. Go down to help your bot lane, like at least be efficient with the jungle camps and then sweep, right? Because they hop over and they kill you. And it's fine to do it solo, right? It's fine to do it solo, even if you don't have vision. Well, to an extent, if both of your laners are in lane pushing, right? Pushing from the mid lane, pushing from the top lane, they move first to help you, it's 3v2. I'm making that oversimplified, but it's the theory that counts. So you int, you, you at least could have inted with two more camps done, but you int without those camps done, you give them Herald. And you just throw the tide of the fight. Your team is just running in. Okay, let's get to the late game uh, when they could still have a chance because um, there's always a chance in these games. Holy moly. T still 25 to 30. You guys are so lucky. You're at two items. Graves is almost at three items. Clist is six and three. Teemo isn't a champion. Yeah, there's a shot you win this. Okay, they have three dragons. You guys have to group up here. Why are you not even close to dragon, bro? Shut down. Okay, you should see this timer, and as the jungler, you need to at least try to steal this, especially in a game that you're losing. Your team gets in. Your team wins a fight. They get a pick. You're running on the flank, which is good. Nice. Okay, they back off. Start it. Just start it. Good, your team starts it for you. You get it? You prolong the game a little bit longer. Okay, what do we do? When nothing else is up and we're not recalling, what do we do? We full clear, right? Okay, so we... No, this is not what you're supposed to do. Your team is recalling. Why are we trying to fight? If you get if you get this kill, I'm, I'm over it. You're dead. Homie, just recall with your team. Recall with your team or... Like, go to wolves, or go to chickens. They would have seen you at chickens, but just recall with your team. You literally stopped your recall to int. 1v4. Just, just play, play with your team. You played away from your team at Herald. Oh, also, look at this TP. <laughs> played away from your team at Herald, and you left your team here to go die. Play with your team, and do things a little bit faster. Like, man, that was great. You guys got a pick. You got dragon. Your red side is up right now. If you recall and just go, you know, full clear again, push lanes, full clear, put a, put a pink ward down somewhere, right? You're in such a better situ, you're in such a better spot when dragon starts to come back up and the fifth drag, sorry, Baron and the fifth drag come up. But when you throw like that, you just give more towers. Baron can push your top lane die. Nothing you can do about that. They're going to take your camps. You're going to be way more behind in XP. And so the next fight that happens, you're just going to lose the game. It's ultimately what happens here. You were given so many opportunities. So, all right, we're going to call it here. Um, it was it was a good effort. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Um, stick around for more of these videos and subscribe if you like them. Um, hopefully you learned something and it wasn't trying to be harsh or mean to this guy uh but i hope that he understands the realities of this game and hopes that i hope that he understands that he's actually not very far from being like pretty good at this game he just needs to fix a couple you know minor basics that will really put him very far ahead of the people that he's playing against and make these games feel very very easy so with that said guys uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video